Hello, I'm Lucy. Welcome to this short video. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the key features of the Kia e Nero. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to get comfortable. The e Nero has eight way power adjustable seats. We start at the back with lumbar support. Then we move over to backrest adjustment. And here is how we move forwards and backwards and up and down in the seat. Adding to driver comfort, we have heated driver's seat and also a heated passenger seat. Now we move on to the controls on the steering wheel. First we have the cruise control and speed limit function settings on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Please refer to your manual for more guidance. We have the controls to go through the driver information display screen. We have this button, up and down, which will scroll up and down through different economy settings. And we have this button at the top, which will scroll through different settings including sat-nav guidance. Using these controls, you can access some of the vehicle settings, including the safety settings. Behind the steering wheel, I'm going to show you the regenerative braking paddles. Starting with the right, this is how we move down through the regenerative braking modes. And then the left is how we move up through the regenerative braking modes. On the left stalk behind the steering wheel, we have lights and indicator operation. And on the right, we have wiper operation. Moving over to the centre of the vehicle, we have the controls for drive, neutral, reverse and park. To select any of these, keep your foot on the brake, twist towards the mode you'd like to select, and you'll see the light above it. To go into park, press down on the P in the centre, and to engage the handbrake, we lift up here. In the centre we have the auto hold button which is a feature that will keep the car in place without having to use the handbrake when you come to a stop. Over on the left hand side of the centre we have the drive mode select which can engage eco mode, sport mode, normal mode and eco plus driving mode. For more information on all of these features in the centre of the console please refer to your owner's manual or contact your dealer specialist. Now I'm going to introduce you to the infotainment system. Starting with the radio, there will be some preset stations already in your radio and you can add more to your favourites by pressing list and scrolling through. Press start next to the radio station that you'd like to save. Next I'm going to move on to the sat nav. Here we have the map screen, we can zoom in and out. And we can change the volume here. Items will be at this volume. To set a destination, we press nav and address. To cancel a route, we press stop guidance in the bottom left. To bring up the reversing camera, you select reverse. The camera comes on automatically. Now we're going to have a look at wireless phone charging and Bluetooth connectivity. Starting with wireless charging, if your phone is wireless charging compatible, simply place your device on the pad and as you can see, the orange light comes on to indicate that the phone is now charging. In order to connect your phone to the system wirelessly, we go to Setup, Phone Connection, Bluetooth Connections and Add New. Okay. Then simply follow the instructions on the screen. The vehicle comes with premium JBL sound system, which is adjustable. Set up, sound, and here you'll find the settings to personalize the sound to suit you. The vehicle comes with various safety driving aids, which can be accessed through the driver screen. On the screen we have lane safety, driver attention warning, smart cruise control adjustment and forward collision. To learn more about these features please refer to your owner's manual or do contact your local specialist. Now we move on to charging the vehicle. We start at the boot because that's where you'll find the cable. 
Just underneath the boot is where you'll find your cable. As you can see, the cable is double-ended, but only one has a cap. This is the side that fits into the vehicle. Now we move to the front of the vehicle to take a look at how the plug-in operation works. To gain access to the charging point, we start by pressing the right-hand side of the cover. To view the status of charging from the outside, we have a reference on the dash. If you would like a little bit more detail, we go inside the vehicle. In the centre you can see the charging status and the final thing is make sure you lock the vehicle because this will keep the charging cable in place. In the lower recess of the boot you will also find another charging cable. This cable can be used in a three pin plug but should only be used in emergencies. Thank you for watching this video on the Kia e Nero 4. I do hope that you found it helpful. Your specification may differ so do please refer to your owner's manual or contact your specialist.